everybody. It's Friday. We did another whole week. Can you believe we've been doing this for four weeks? You guys have worked so hard. And I'm going to do something pretty silly right now. And I'll tell you, if anyone had told me four weeks ago that I would get on YouTube and do this goofy dance, I would have said, no way. But I love you all so much. And I miss you. And I want you to smile today. So we're going to do a new song we've never done before. And it's about a bird. Because that kind of goes with our oviparous animals unit we're doing. And this is a silly sir, silly song. I'm very nervous. It's called Mother Goonie Bird. And for this, your whole body has to move. So you have to stand up. I haven't done any standing up videos with you. Okay, and one of the things we're going to be doing is moving our arms and both arms. And then we're going to be bringing up a leg. Oh my goodness. And at some parts in the song, we're going to go. <laughs> Don't keep laughing though, because I need you to do it with me. And sometimes we're going to yell out, no. <laughs> Are you ready? Try it with me. And maybe if this goes well, we'll do it again Monday so you'll have time to learn it. Here we go, ready? And we're gonna put our hands behind our back and we're just gonna bounce at the beginning. Really slow. Bending my knees, not jumping. Here we go. Mother Goonie Bird had ah! seven chicks. And seven chicks had Mother Goonie Bird. And they couldn't swim, no! And they couldn't fly, no! All they did was go like this. Right arm, get your arm going. Mother Goonie Bird ah! had seven chicks. And seven chicks had Mother Goonie Bird. And they couldn't swim, no! And they couldn't fly, no! All they did was go like this. Right arm, left arm. Mother Goonie Bird ah! had seven chicks, and seven chicks had Mother Goonie Bird, and they couldn't swim, no, and they couldn't fly, no, all they did was go like this, right arm, left arm, right foot. Mother Goonie Bird ah! had seven chicks, and seven chicks had Mother Goonie Bird. And they couldn't swim, no, and they couldn't fly, no. All they did was go like this, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Mother Goonie Bird ah! had seven chicks, and seven chicks had Mother Goonie Bird. And they couldn't swim, no, and they couldn't fly, no. All they did was go like this, Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, nod your head. Don't make me do this by myself, ready? Mother Goonie Bird ah! had seven chicks, and seven chicks had Mother Goonie Bird. And they couldn't swim, no, and they couldn't fly, no. All they did was go like this. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, nod your head, turn around, sit down. Oh my goodness. It's fun to sing and dance with you again. I hope you didn't make me do that all by myself. And to tell you the truth, there's not many people in this world I would do that for. So you must know how much I miss you and how much I miss having our morning meeting together. I want to show you my little teacup. Isn't that the silliest little teacup in the world? It looks like three teacups all stacked together. Do you know who it is? Alice in Wonderland. So when I'm feeling particularly silly, like on a Friday morning when I want to sing with all of you, I might have a little teacup. One that looks a little crazy, because it's that kind of day. Well, boys and girls, you have been busy writing, 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 writing. And I think some of you are making your moms and dads a little nervous, because I am doing lessons on how to write. And some of you 
Some of you can write words and sentences, but some of you are doing your stories with your pictures, and you're telling someone the story, and they're encouraging you just to put down a letter or two. You know how we do it in school, but moms and dads don't always know. You know, it's okay to use kid writing in these books. I want you to write like kids. And boy, have I seen some brave boys and girls. They have been writing words the way they hear it and knowing what they know. And then I see them trying. Maybe they remember, ooh, I know how to put letters down. And Miss Red showed us about spaces. Maybe it's time for me to try that. I don't expect anyone in our class to write a perfect book. I don't even write a perfect book. I make a lot of spelling mistakes. I have to go back. Spelling is not something that's easy for me. I have to really think about it sometimes. So I work hard on that. Everybody has something they work hard on. So I'm really proud of you because I know how hard it is. Now, I've heard from a couple more people. So maybe we can go through our chart again. So Avery, I'm gonna put my book here because I have new things to tell you about our writers. So Avery, she is still doing her book about chicks and she wrote Chicks Hatch from an Egg. I saw that in one of her books. That was awesome. And Charlie, oh, that Charlie, he's turning into a movie star. He's still doing his book about the elephant bird and he sent a video of himself reading a page in his book and it said an elephant bird does not live in New Hampshire. I think that's awesome. And you know what he did? He made up a math problem for me. He said, Miss Rutt, if someone had seven apples and seven friends came over and they each ate one apple, how many would he have left? Hmm. He had seven apples and seven friends came and they each ate one. How many are left? That's right. He said he started with seven and he had to, did he add or take away? He had to take away how many? He took away seven. Seven, take away seven equals zero. <laughs> nice word problem, Charlie. Some of the boys and girls and I have been doing some word problems and that's the first one somebody sent me. So, great idea. Oops, sorry. So Charlie's getting going on his um, book. Christian, yes, he's doing his snake book. Um, oh, he wrote the snake can be somebody's pet. And on another page, he wrote the snake drinks water. Those are good facts about snakes. I asked him if he wanted one for a pet. And I told him about what I have living in my basement. Not the guinea pigs you saw. My daughter Renee got something new. I'll have to do a video. It's not a snake, but it reminds me of one. And Lucy, she's working on her frog. She showed me all her math book. I mean, all of her math work. She didn't show me her frog book yet. So I'm so excited because Lucy's got great dear ideas. But on her math paper, she wrote her whole last name along with a million equations. Oh, Maya Bell, she wrote, Ladybugs lay eggs under leaves. They do. Ladybugs sit on logs. They do. And ladybugs play dead. That tells me Maya Bell is doing some research. And Maya Bell wrote those things by herself. Now she used kid writing. I knew what it said because I could read part of it. And her mom helped me. Her mom wrote, this is what Maya Bell told me this said. And after she wrote it, I said, oh my gosh, look at all the sounds and letters she's using. Maya, I'm so proud of you. Wow, awesome job. Then Olivia, she's doing hers. She's doing hers about her butterfly still. And her mom wrote me a long email. Mom and her are working really hard together. And Olivia, I'm real proud of you. I heard that you're getting some of those letters down. Don't worry about getting them all down. Just put something down. Tell mom what it says, and she can write it so that I'll know exactly what you told her. I'm real proud of you. Keep it up. Um, oh, and Micah, I didn't mean to miss you. Micah, I heard from, he's got one that we hadn't had yet. He's doing a bluebird, and I saw his first page, Bluebirds Love 
mealworms. He's doing research. He's going to be an expert. And Serenity's butterfly. Um, but I don't think I heard from her yesterday, so I don't have any more news on that. So, boys and girls, woohoo! You make me so proud. Your books are beautiful. Now, listen, work on it a little more today, okay? And if you're ready, your choice, you can work on putting your dedication. You can start thinking about what you want to tell your readers about you. Tell them something they don't know. Maybe they read the last book you wrote about pirates or what makes you happy. And they want to know something new about you. They want to know. Maybe they want to know that you wrote this book when you couldn't go to school because you were trying to keep your family safe. Right? That would be really amazing. And, and that would be a good fact. Or maybe you could write about... Um, when, I, when you wrote the book, who was sitting next to you? Maybe you had a co-writer. Maybe you got some good ideas from somebody. Tell them anything you want, but tell them something new. And if you want, always a choice, you're the author. You can put a picture of yourself, one that you draw, one that you found somewhere in your house, maybe a photograph. You can do this. So, And then if you finish your book today, send it to me. If you're like, oh, I really want to work on this some more, that makes my heart full. So sure, let mom or dad just write me a note and say they're still working on it. We'll send it when it's done. you got Saturday, you've got Sunday, and even if Monday comes and you're not done, you're like, oh, oh I know I'm supposed to have this done, but I've got some great ideas. That's okay. Keep working on it. I've got projects I've been working on. They're not done because I keep going back and making them just a little bit better. So when you have it done, send it to me. I want to know. If it's not done, mom or dad can just write me a note and say, she's working on it, he's working on it, and I'm okay with that. I'll write it down that you saw this and you're doing your work. You make me really proud, boys and girls. So those books, keep them going. I can't wait to see, and I can't wait to keep reporting to your friends. Isn't it fun to hear what they're doing? All right. I'll see you in a few minutes on the next video.